Let's do this. Time for Monkey Man. Tell Monkey us how. Man. Tell us about this movie. The trailer wowed everybody. It played at South by Southwest. Tell us your early reaction, okay. early review for Monkey Man. Okay, first of all, let me let me tell you uh, about about the screening. Because uh, everyone was there. Dev Patel, the cast, uh, Jordan Peele, he was there. Um, the the room was packed. the The Paramount Theater is packed. About twelve hundred people. Um, the majority of the women, uh, the people there were women and they oh, were really? screaming and they were screaming cause they love Dev Patel. And the moment he's, his shirt comes off, uh, it, the room was just reverberating, which, which goes to your point, Chris, that women want to see movies about men. Women, women want to see strong men and being, doing manly things filled with testosterone coming out everywhere yes and and i think the uh the reaction to this movie reflects that i mean the again it was like being at an insane concert in a way and this and we're talking about dev patel uh he right. comes out and he's just he's just this kind of awkward filmmaker you know this tall lanky guy who loves martial arts films and wanted to make a, a martial arts film of himself uh for himself and that's what this movie is. It's it's Monkey Man. Um, basically, it's inspired by the what's legend. what's the story? What's the yes. story? I'm gonna tell you. It's inspired by the legend of uh, Hanuman, who is uh, a monkey who um, who uh, wanted to reach the fruit that was at the tallest, uh, the at the highest point of the tree. He finally gets there, reaches for it, and eats it, and realizes he ate the sun because it was so high. Um, you know, this story is about an underdog. Uh, his name is Kid in the movie, uh, played by Dev Patel. Uh, he uh, lives in the low lowest caste in India. Um, he his By day, he... Uh, oh, during the day, he, uh, he is trained to be a fighter. And at night, he uh, goes to an arena run by Charlton Copley's character mm -hmm. and, uh, and gets involved in cage fights. And he loses. In fact, it's all fixed. Uh, by the third round, he he's down. Uh, that's kind of what he's paid for. Um, but he's not getting paid enough for all the abuse he's taking. So he gets involved with uh, this uh, kind of this mob woman. Uh, I wish I had her name, but I don't. Um, and uh, he decides that he's going to infiltrate her system and, and become a, a lackey, so so to speak. And um, he ingratiates her him to herself. Um, and, uh, he gets this low level job, just doing kind of jobs for, for this woman. Um, and then realizes that, uh, a long time ago when his mother was killed, uh, it was, uh, killed by the police chief, uh, of that town, realized that he works for her and decides that this is the time in which he needs to, uh, to take revenge for the death of this death of his mother. Uh, and in this elaborate attempt to kill him, uh, it fails. Uh, he's he he does a he gets close, but he survives. Uh, the the police chief survives, and now it's about revenge, about running away, and he runs off to kind of a monastery where he learns to become the monkey man. Uh, goes through all this training uh, to finally exact his revenge. And that's kind of what this movie's about. Um, it's a long movie, as you'd expect. A lot of action. I'll, I'll say this. Uh, the action you've seen so far, it all happens in the third act and the third act of this movie where it kind of is the culmination of, of, uh, you know, his training and then getting to the bad guy. Uh, it's amazing. This, this third act feels like a, uh, you know, Hong Kong, uh, martial arts movie. Uh, it's full of action. My, my problem with the movie is leading up to the first two acts. Uh, the first act has a lot of action in it, uh, and he gets beaten up a lot. Uh, but the middle is basically his training, his finding his center. You know, it 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 goes on quite a long time, and there's not a lot of action, and uh, it's really a lot of soul searching. So it, it you know, so there's this action, uh, a, a dip, and then a, a valley, and then rises up to a great ending. Um, my biggest problem with the movie is I couldn't understand half the movie. Uh, what the, are you talking about? The, like the, in terms it, of the language. The language, the it's it's oh. uh it's it's in English. Uh, the majority of the movie is in English, and the accents are very heavy, and mm. it was very difficult for me to figure out what was going on. For example, the the bad guy, the police chief, they called him chief uh, in the beginning of the movie. And I'm go, well, that's a weird. Uh, what does what does it mean to be chief? And then you realize halfway through the movie, oh, he's the police chief, 
and that's why they call him cheap. You know, that's kind of the thing you, you struggle with here. Um, you know, I will say that, uh, you know, uh, you know, if it weren't for, I'd be so much more into this movie. It wasn't for the, just kind of the long, uh, second act that where you're, you're trying to understand what they're saying. Um, you know, you know, so, you know, if you go strictly for the action, I think you'll do okay. But again, uh, it's a, it's a bit unevenly paced. It um, sounds a little like you're disappointed, Alan. I am disappointed. Uh, it it was it was good. It was fun, but I expected more. And I th I think that's the, my advice is set your expectations low. Well, so and, the, so would you say that the trailer kind of um, is misleading? It's it's not. I mean, that's just look. It's shot like a comic book. So I think the you know the the all the images. Uh, he has he has a good grasp of imagery. He has a good guess, grasp of the action, Dev Patel. Um, but it, you know, it, it kind of drags in, in the middle. And really, for me, the fun didn't happen until the third act. I didn't start liking this movie until the third act. Um, you know, but but let's let's get back to all the DEI stuff. Uh, it stars a man. Uh, most of the crew is a man. He's saving a girl. You know, if there's an upside, there there's your upside. You know, it's the not, upside is it ignores all that stuff. It ignores it. It's not it's not woke at all. Um, and uh, you know, I think um, you know, and and you know, it, it's a great movie to take your girlfriend to see. All right, yeah. let's go to your comments and questions before we pivot. I mean, you're expecting more. I, I feel like you're. I mean, I think most people are expecting great things about it. And I, no, I no, I, I'm expecting movie. more from basically what I saw in the trailer. I want to see that movie. And if you're telling me it's slow until act three, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, and I'm also, I'm not against a slow burn in a film, not against a slow burn, but um, there's got to be something to keep me going. Mm -hmm. And that trailer looked like knock out of the park. And what you're saying is lower your expectations and you'll probably still enjoy it. But yeah. um, that's disheartening. Yeah. I really love that. Yeah. Val Val I mean, I hate to say it, it, the fact that you have to wait to the third act to really see some great action. Um, you know, it's just a, it's a very slow burn. Right. Let's yeah. go to your comments and questions here. Mexican Iron Man for two says smash that like button, people. Thank you for the more than thousand people watching us live. And Davina Duckworth asks, no subtitles? There are subtitles uh, <laughs> for the non-English parts. And and you, I wish the English had subtitles. Joseph says it's at 89% on Rotten Tomatoes, yeah. so critics seem to like it. Well, look, critics saw, critics were there with me. Uh, right. There were a lot of critics there. Uh, we were all in the tent. And I will say, you know, it's one of those things where you're at a festival, the, the atmosphere is high, uh, and I think people are kind of riding that that adrenaline wave. And, and I have right. to say, I, I wasn't on board with that adrenaline wave, as right. everyone else was. Uh, Boy Kills World might be the action movie you wanted Monkey Man to be. Yeah, that uh, one. Matt that one is a roller coaster ride. Matt Bookish says Matt Bookish bastard. Yeah, I saw the trailer for Boy Kills World. It looks really. It looks like a video game. It is. It, it is uh, literally a roller coaster ride, and it takes a lot of turns that you don't expect. I I love that movie so much. What well, Boy Kills World? Mm -hmm. yeah. When did you see it? When I see it, well, remember. It was last year. We were supposed to interview uh, Sam Raimi about it. But you saw it. I saw it. I interviewed the director. So on the interview channel is, is my interview with the director. But did it was it, uh, it was yet? produced by Sam Raimi. Hmm? When did it come out? Or no, it came it out. Was, oh, it was it was a Sundance film. Sorry. Okay, cool. I'm sorry. It's Sundance it, was, it, it, I just it remember. It was a festival movie. Okay. All yeah. Right. All right. I just remember it happened. I saw it. It was a festival movie. Oh, Toronto. It was there for Toronto. Uh, Sam Raimi had to pull out because of the SAG strike, so I couldn't talk to him. That's why. But I do think it's coming out now. Is that right? Yes. So it played Toronto. I believe then they postponed it till after the strike, and now it's coming out. 